In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus BaOH2. This is sulfuric acid and this is barium hydroxide. When I look at the reaction, I notice I have this water, H2O, out here. So when I see water here, that's interesting, especially because we have BaSO4. This is an ionic compound considered a salt. If I have a salt and water, I'm thinking neutralization reaction. On the reactant side, I have an acid, H2SO4. I can tell it's an acid. First, I've memorized sulfuric acid. It's kind of an important one. But I have the H in front. That's a good clue that we have an acid. For the BaOH2, too, I have a metal bonded to an OH group. This is a hydroxide group. So if I have a metal and a hydroxide, that is going to be a base. It's also helpful if you memorize this list of common acids and bases. So we look down the list, we see H2SO4, sulfuric acid. That's an acid. It's actually a strong acid. We look down here, and here's barium hydroxide. That's a base. It's a strong base. So having this list memorized here can really save you a lot of time. We can also take a look at a list of common chemical reactions. So here's our list, and as we look down, we know we have a neutralization reaction because we have an acid and a base and we get a salt and a water. We have HX, so the H, that's because it begins with H. MOH, that's the metal and the hydroxide. That gives us an ionic compound and water. Neutralization. It's also a double replacement reaction, sometimes called double displacement. That's because the barium and the hydrogen, they switch places. They replace each other. So we have barium sulfate in the products, and then we have hydrogen with the hydroxide, HOH, that gives us H2O. HOH is the same as H2O. So our acid in a base gives us a salt and water, but it's also a double replacement reaction. So you can have it classified as two different types of reactions. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus BaOH2, sulfuric acid plus barium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.